Fabricated fittings that use the Bulldog technology are available. Here is a 22 and a half that was installed on the Bridgepoint business development project. Here the um, contractor is installing two insertion lines. The first line is for the minimum insertion depth and the second line is for the maximum insertion depth. As with any bell and spigot assembly, um, you'll want to make sure that the pipe bell is clean. Uh, in addition to cleaning the bell itself, you'll also want to check the Bulldog hardware and make sure that uh, no dirt or grit has gotten into that hardware and that you clean it thoroughly. And then you're going to want to assemble, uh, excuse me, lubricate the bell just as you would any other gasketed bell and spigot joint. Here the worker is lubing the gasket and next he applies some lube to the spigot to make sure there's a lot of uh, pipe lube in that uh, gasketed joint so that it slips on more easily. And note how lightweight this fitting is compared to a comparable iron 22 and a half. The worker is able to easily pick it up and uh, get it into place. And on this project, the contractor used a piece of equipment called the Eagle Claw to assist in the joint assembly. The attachments shown here are the attachments that are used for PVC fabricated fittings. Uh, for the pipe to pipe joints, uh, another claw is used that can be assembled more quickly. But they tighten the wings on behind the gasket raceway to give it a place to um, pull the fitting onto the pipe. On the uh, spigot end, they latch down the claw and then they pull the lever to pull the fitting onto the spigot of the pipe. Again, you want to bury the minimum insertion line and leave the maximum insertion line showing. After the assembly is complete, uh, one of the wings is popped off so that the Eagle Claw can be taken off the assembled joint and be available the next time it's needed.